In today's Health Watch, at least 45 people have contracted uh, bird flu so far this year across the country. The World Health Organization considers it a threat to public health because it has the potential to cause a pandemic. And of course, we're talking about the bird flu. In the last month, at least 10 people are confirmed to have had the bird flu in Colorado this year. That's according to the health department's nine cases are coming from two poultry farms, one case from a dairy farm. At least five of those who were sick were in Weld County, where on Friday, Governor Polis extended an executive action disaster declaration through September 1st, unlocking extra resources to contain the outbreak. The avian flu circulates in wild birds and causes outbreaks in cows, chickens, and turkeys. And joining us now is Dr. Eric Hill, ER physician and EMS medical director at the Medical Center of Aurora. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. All right, so so much to talk about. First of all, the virus, it's been spreading more and more in just the last two years. Is the bird flu here to stay? Well, it's certainly in animal populations, you know, the birds and, and cattle, we see that. We don't typically see that spread in humans. The overall incidence of humans is very low over the last 20 years. What we fear is, is does it become more prevalent in human populations and do we get human-human spread? And that's where we're risking the pandemic. So right now we're hoping to contain these things to very small areas so it does not become a, a systemic human infection that we have to risk all the time. Yeah, you say the public risk remains low, but should we be worried? I think just, you know, being cautious, knowing the public health officials are certainly looking at this. We're trying to address these things, try to contain outbreaks within these populations like our poultry centers and, and, and the cattle centers that we've had. That's where we seem to have most of these outbreaks at. So certainly, yes, be aware of it. I wouldn't be overly alarmed to say that any time I have flu symptoms that I need to be worried that I have a bird flu. Can humans get sick from possibly infected food? Not that if we properly cooked, then I would say no. I mean, if you have a normal uh, preparatory process, typically where we see this is actually in the preparatory phase and these, these poultry farms where we're seeing it. So they're, you know, it's either the animals directly there, they're live animals. The viruses die typically in the tissues pretty quickly once they're dead. What are some of the symptoms we should look out for? Because in some cases, I, maybe there's only one symptom somebody is experiencing. So in bird flu versus the normal flus we experience or normal influenza A and B, the, the symptoms are actually pretty identical to what a avian flu would be. It's your conjunctivitis, you know, eye redness, it's your body aches, fevers, cough, congestion. Um, you know, those things are the most prevalent flu symptoms that we always experience. And those typically start within a few days of getting the, uh, being exposed to the virus and they can last for several days. So the symptoms would look identical. Really what makes a difference as to how you diagnose avian flu is they have to actually get a sample of the virus from the person and then do a analysis of the virus to see what, to, what variant uh, caused it. All good information to know, Dr. Hill. Thanks so much for coming on. Great, thank you. And we have a link on our website, cbscolorado.com, for information about how to report a case of avian flu or report a sick animal.